Let's try graphing another quadratic function. Uh, but this time, oh, well, let's take a look at it. It says y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 1. Now before we begin, I'm, I'm going to remind you uh, that last time we made a table and we picked a bunch of points. But after we picked the points, we decided we needed some extra points. There is a way to determine up front uh, what the best points are. And what, with a parabola, one way to do that is to find the middle first. So if we want to find the middle, also known as the AOS, the axis of symmetry, AOS, um, there is sort of a formula that could be used. Now I'm just as happy if you try a bunch of points and you, you discover by looking at the graph where the middle is. But um, there is this formula for the axis of symmetry. It says x equals negative b over 2a. Now later on there will be another formula called the quadratic formula that's a little different. This is the formula for the axis of symmetry. And you don't have to use it. You can merely just try a bunch of points and you'll see on the graph where the middle is. But if you want to know the exact middle, this works. Now if we're going to use this, we need to know what b and a are. And the way we figure that out is this. Quadratic functions are usually of this form. y equals a x squared plus bx plus c. In other words, there's some number or coefficient in front of the x squared, and then there's some number or coefficient in front of the x, and then there's some constant on the end, also a number. So uh, if our, our middle number will be our b, and our first number will be our a. So in this case, negative b, we, we see b is 4, so we'll do negative 4. And we, when we look at a, it's a, our a is negative 1, so it'll be 2 times negative 1. And when we calculate this, um, we get negative 4 over negative 2, that's positive 2. So our axis of symmetry is 2. Our AOS equals, uh, is x equals 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw that so you can see that visually. And here it is. Uh, at x equals 2, that's our axis of symmetry. And we will use that uh, as a guide. We're also going to use it to help fill in our chart over here. If I know that my axis of symmetry is at x equals 2, well that's kind of the middle of my parabola. So I can pick a couple points on one side of 2 and pick a couple points on the other side of 2 and that, then I'll know that I've got some decent points that represent the parabola. Now, the next thing I might want to do is calculate the y value for my, uh, this will be, by the way, this is the x coordinate for my vertex. I want to calculate the y value. In order to calculate the y value, the y value for the vertex, I'll plug the x value for the axis of symmetry, remember x equals 2, into my function. Um, so this will be, um, oh, and let me remind you about function notation. Um, y could also be represented as f of x. And uh, if it is, we would write it like this. Um, and then we would say f of 2. In other words, if x equal 2, uh, that would be negative 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 1. Now here you're going to notice that when we go to calculate this, it's going to be a little bit different than last time. We still have a power of 2 here, but the power of 2 does not apply to the negative sign. It only applies to the stuff inside parentheses, which in this case it's the x. So we only square the x. The negative sign is left out. So we get negative 2 squared is 4 that, that results in negative 4. Plus 4 times 2, that's plus 8, minus 1. That gets us uh, positive 4 minus 1, that's 3. So the coordinates of our vertex in this case um, are going to be at 2 comma 3. So x is 2, y is 3. And uh, there's something else that we'll talk about uh, is that uh, I know that this guy is going to open down 
and uh, and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just label this now as my vertex since I know I'm safe to write this here and I'll talk about why I know that thing is gonna open down the vertex here is at 2 comma 3 and again this is the vertex now how did I know this guy is going to open down well we'll see in a minute but I will tell you this it has everything to do with the leading coefficient in the um, function so if we look at the a and the b and the c value here if we look at the a and the b and the c the a value the a Remember uh, a from a, ax squared plus bx plus c? Um, the a value, uh, if it is positive, if a is positive, then our parabola will always open upward. In other words, we'll get what I call a smiley face. And if our a value is negative, our parabola will always open downward. And we get what I call a frowny face. So if A is positive or upbeat and happy, you're going to get a smiley face. And if A is negative or down and, and pessimistic, you're going to get a frowny face. We'll use that to remind ourselves whether our parabola should open up or down. In this case, we know it's going to open down. Let's go ahead and pick a few more points. Um, we know X can be 2. We're also going to try X is 1 and X is 0. And we're also going to try X is 3 and X is 4 because um, parabolas are symmetrical and we we know that we're going to have points on this side of the axis of symmetry as well as points on this side so let's calculate the y values for the other points uh, if x equals 0 then uh, we get negative 0 uh, plus 0 times 4 is 0 minus 1 that'll be y is minus 1 and it turns out because x equals 0 that's also going to be our y-intercept um, when x equals 0 we have a y-intercept again remember this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis over here so if we go y equals negative 1 that point is our y-intercept uh, x equals 1 we're gonna get negative 1 squared plus 4 times 1 minus 1. That again we square the 1 but not the minus sign. So minus 1 plus 4 minus 1. That gets us 2. And then we'll put a 3 in up here and that'll get us negative 3 squared uh, plus 4 times 3 minus 1. The, uh, the 3 is squared that gets us 9 and then we apply the minus sign so it's negative 9 plus 12 that's negative 9 plus 12 is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 and then finally negative 4 squared plus 4 times 4 minus 1 uh, this is negative 16 plus 16 minus 1 that gets us negative 1 now I want you to notice that even the numbers themselves are symmetrical we have our 3 in the middle and then 2 and 2 and negative 1 and negative 1. When we go to graph you'll also see the symmetry. Uh, one of the reasons that this works is because our x values are equally distant from the middle. So 3 is 1 away from 2 and 1 is 1 away from 2. Uh, for that reason we get the y values that are the same. So x is 0, y is negative 1. X is zero. We did that. Uh, x is 1, y is 2. So we get that. Uh, x is 2, y is 3. We already graphed that point. That's our vertex. At x is 3, y is 2. And at x is 4, y is negative 1. And so we have this downward facing parabola. I'm going to try to slowly and carefully connect to make the curve and again I'm trying as much as possible to convey that this guy although it looks like it's going down forever it's also going out to the right forever to infinity and and I'll try to carefully draw this curve as well 
and again the same thing. The idea is is that this curve goes down for, to infinity for y, uh, but uh, to negative infinity, I should say, um, but it also goes to the left to negative infinity for x. And that's going to be important later when we talk about domain and range. Um, so there's our parabola. So uh, let's not forget to label our axis of symmetry, AOS, that's x equals 2. It's this imaginary line. And x equals 2 is just the equation of a vertical line. Uh, our vertex is 2 comma 3. Uh, we could make note of our y-intercept if we'd like, the y-intercept in this case. Again, you'll notice the y-intercept is different than the y-coordinate of the vertex. In this case, our y-intercept, y-int, is equal to negative 1, y equals negative 1. And there's a couple of other things I'd like to point out here. Uh, I'd like to say this, is that if you looked, if you considered every point on the yellow line that I've drawn as an XY ordered pair, um, and you looked at all the Y values, what you would notice is, is that um, the Y values can go down forever, but they don't go up forever. The y values only go up to this value. This is the maximum y value. So something that we're going to make note of here is that the maximum value for the uh, parabola is y equals, in this case, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. In, uh, in other words, um, by the way, that actually happens to be the y coordinate of the vertex. So the max value is y equals 3. It is the y coordinate of the vertex, and that's important. That uh, you should be you should be able to identify the maximum value of the parabola. In this case, it's y equals three. That helps us to understand about domain and range. Now, let's take a look at what the domain and range is for this particular function. The domain, based on the graph is all possible x values. Um, that means that x values are, are points on this line that, that where, where x has a value, like x is 2 here, and x is uh, 3 here, and x is 4 here. Um, and what we want to know is what are the possible x values. Well, if this guy goes to the right forever, and this guy goes to the left forever, then the possible x values for the domain are all numbers, or uh, as we've said in the past, any number. If you want to be technical, um, you could say all real numbers. But it's more important for you to realize that it could be any number. Next, we want to talk about range. What are the, what's the range of possible y values? Again, if we looked at every dot that's on this yellow line, including the ones that are all the way down here because of the arrows, what are the possible values for y? And at, at first it might look like, well, maybe, maybe all real numbers also, but it's not. Um, because it's true that if you go down here, we can have any y value all the way down to negative infinity. But the y values only go up to this, y equals 3. So our range is limited to all y values that are um, less than or equal to 3. And this ties together directly with the maximum value here. See if for this, for, for this guy, for this parabola, um, see if you can state the minimum value and also the domain and the range. Little challenge for you. And that's it. Good luck.